Hello, it's Esther with the reading for the collective. I hope that everyone is doing amazing. You're feeling safe, protected, clear, relaxed, peaceful, happy, abundant, productive. What is this reading about? Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Okay. Someone is having unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Okay. More, more about this situation. Someone is having unsettled maybe celebration, fun, enjoyment. Someone is having unsettled times during a celebration or because of someone else's celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Under the deck, solid foundation, success with effort. So someone could be having unsettled times and, and personal sorrow um, over someone's celebration, fun, enjoyment, solid foundation, and success with effort. Um, tell me about this person that's having unsettled times and needs to plan ahead. You have this gift, or the gift is in your hands. Someone wasn't expecting this. Someone's in bad health over your gift. A privileged lady reverse. Having to do with your your work or your job because you're in the upright main male reverse message reverse They don't like a message. They shouldn't have sent a message. They don't want you to get a message. Great personal sorrow. It's over your great fortune. Yeah, success with effort. Pull more from this deck, but let's go. Let's go to this one. Perfect lady. Yeah, this is success with effort. You put your time and energy into something. Okay, there's a Queen of Swords Reverse here. As well, so there's like two people. And there's a Masculine Energy in the Upright. A King of Pentacles. Who's following their passion. Or you're following your passion. And there's a King of Pentacles Reverse. Who isn't getting something. Or they lost their blessing. Someone, someone is having great personal sorrow over you. Maybe this is supposed to be a time of so fun and celebration for this person, but they're having a bad time. Or you are having a good time. There's a King of Wands reverse involved as well. There's a King of Swords reverse. There's a lot of people here. Hierophant reverse. Okay. I feel like someone has sorrow over you doing well. Hierophant reverse. This could be a person who is falling from grace. That's a leader of an organization or an institution. This could be a religious person. Um, it's a leader of a religious organization or they're just very traditional. 
This could be a divorce happening. This could be someone who is um, a very judgmental boss, um, illogical, narrow-minded person. Um, they could be going through a lot of chaos and confusion in their life. This is could be someone who's arrogant. Someone who's made some poor financial decisions that's very arrogant or um, feels like they're failing or yeah, went the wrong way. They feel like they went the wrong way, but they're very judgmental um, about you. You're in the upright, though. This could be a teacher. This could be a group of people as well that all do something unorthodox. Knight of Swords. This is about you being mentally agile, courageous, you're throwing yourself into something. You're just, yeah, throwing yourself in. Because I feel like solid foundation success with effort. This is moving, moving quickly and courageously. You're resourceful resourceful, you're decisive, you take action, yeah, you pay attention to detail, you take action, um, so it's like you've put a lot of effort into something here, and someone could know this about you, or know, know which di direction you're going, um, page of pentacles reversed in the subconscious, justice reverse they did something that was unjust to block your opportunities and now they feel stuck but i don't know that this person is looking at the situation figuring out why they are where they are and making changes because of it they just are like angry or upset this could be a King of Wands reverse, someone who's very arrogant, ill-intentioned, um, it could be your spark, your creativity, um, your, your passion, your talent, your enthusiasm. Your, your good news, your new passion. Passion. There's only something about passion. It's about being energetic, going on an adventure, passionate. This is about someone who has attracted to you as well. Um, it's about quickly moving towards passion. Seven of Cups in the recent past. A lot of options. Fantasies. Confusion. Indulge, indulging. The possibilities. Someone has options. But someone feels like they don't have they don't have a plan. Uncertainty. An, an unhappy couple and something was very unfair here um, and someone is in their passion someone is going on an adventure you're going on an adventure maybe that's what the celebration this good time is um, but it has to do with your work or something you planned you put in a lot of effort you deserve it um, this could be like a work adventure where you met someone at work or someone from work is coming towards you or you put a lot of effort into something, it's going to become an adventure. Um, you're heading towards an adventure and there just could be someone here who feels very emotionally unstable or they're in a situation that's not a good mix with this temperance reverse, two of cups reverse. There could be a lot of drinking going on. They could be 
uh, someone could have opposed you, went against you, tried to block a partnership for you. Someone could be very unstable. Um, Six of Cups Reverse, this could be someone who did something vain in regards to unconditional love. So you could have had unconditional love with this person. They could have broken your heart. Or they could feel broken hearted now. You reap what you sow. So they put a lot of time and energy into the wrong thing. And now they're under judgment. Um, the direction you're going, the expectations, the intention, um, what they feel like is going to happen here, um, or how they're viewing their future, or how they think this is going to go. Um, five of Wands. So if it's an intention, it's creating distraction and, and conflict in your life, or they're in competition with you, they want to fight with you, they, it's like a clashing ego. There could be a lot of chaos in their life. They could feel insecure. They could be having trouble adapting um, because they're under judgment. Um, the universe has spoken. Um, this is also um, doing the right thing. There could be someone that's doing the right thing in regards to you. Um, this is also watching you with a new life, um, a job well done. Um, they could be having problems with a house, losing a house. The house could be very dysfunctional. Um, this, I don't know who this person is to you. Um, if this is a masculine energy from the past that you worked with, or that is a family member, or who, who they are, or they're connected to an ex, or they're, this is your ex and another masculine energy, but... There are two masculine energies here, both in the reverse. And there's also this Queen of Pentacles reverse as well. In the near future, this Queen of Pentacles reverse could be very temp temperamental and negligent. They could be someone that doesn't take good care of themselves. They could be forgetful. They could be not a good leader business-wise. Someone who um, leads people into failure. Someone who's afraid of failure. Um, someone who's ex excessive, they could overspend, they could be very materialistic. Um, death reverse. This person could be upset because something's not over for you, or they're trying to hold on to something and keep it going. Um, So the lens that someone is looking through to run deck. The lens that someone is looking through. I don't know if you're getting into a new relationship and things are going well for you in your life and your career and uh, so these people are upset or they see it coming or they see the beginnings of it. Um, sun reverse, they feel very disillusioned. Um, three of Swords in the environment. So someone's very upset and brokenhearted here. Um, there could be a breakup, disappointment, um, and yeah, some grief, loss. King of Wands Reverse could be the one um, that's experiencing this. This could have been someone who was very arrogant and ill-intentioned towards you. Devil, King of Wands Reverse. Um, something, this, this person could have... a terrible addictions, um, they could be very greedy, they could be in their ego, this could be an obsession, very materialistic, just arrogant, ill-intentioned, Ill Ill tyrannical person who uh, is extremely um, materialistic, they could be a player, they don't care who they burn, they could be abusive, um, they could be suffering some type of health problems from some type of overindulgence as well. This is who could be heartbroken in the environment. Um, strangely, it has to do with you recuperating from a terrible betrayal um, and having this new leap of faith, this, um, you know, infinite potential, a fresh start. Um, you're optimistic. Um, you've got 
multiple um, directions you could go. Um, you could be very original. You could be someone that is very innocent and free spirited. So you're not encumbered by this devilish dark energy, these toxicities. You're not all wrapped up in karmic stuff. Um, and someone sees, sees that and this is you. It's like you're moving on after something was done here that was pretty horrific and you're in the upright as well. Um, you could be calm, confident too. Um, you could be trusting the universe and someone is just really upset about it. Page of Swords Reverse. This person could be someone that slandered you, stalked you even, especially with this King of Wands Reverse and Devil Reverse. Um, they could have tried to destroy your reputation um, and cut off all of your alliances um, so that, you know, it would break your heart or so you wouldn't be able to move forward. Um, this is someone I feel like who wanted you down and out, maybe on behalf of this Queen of Pentacles Reverse. They might have thought that if they appease this person, they're going to get everything they want. Um, whatever it was, they did something very un... They did an injustice to you. Um, there could be something that's illegal, too, that they participated in. Well, harassment and defamation are not legal, so it could have been that. There could have been other injustices. They could have done something in the, the court system, legal, something that they shouldn't have done, um, false accusations... A more abusive. There could be bigotry involved, some type of injustice with the law, um, some sort of harsh, harsh judgments that they passed on you. Um, they could have said things that weren't true. They could have misused personal information as well. Um, definitely a lot of slander. And I feel like also there could be stalking here. Depends on, um, you know, who's reading this is or who resonates with this portion of the reading, um, this person could have, you know, really infiltrated your space at some point um, where you didn't feel comfortable or they could have ruined your networks of people, spread lies so you wouldn't have someone to call or turn to as well. Um, this person could still be trying to disrupt your environment um, with this Page of Swords Reverse. They could be talking and saying things that are untrue to um, try to cause some damage. And that's because they are unhappy. They're deeply unhappy and there's some type of obsession here. Some type of very sick, toxic situation. Um, there could be a lot of self-deception as well. Um, they could have embraced this devilish energy at a certain point in order to get ahead and now it's you know working against them um but they're still in this toxic energy still wanting to point the finger and project um for some reason at one person who seems to be doing all the right things as far as you know taking care of themselves trying their best and um being living with gratitude and being open to new beginnings um moving courageously um you could be moving quickly too um you could improvise too you could be quick on your toes um because these people or someone here are there could be a lot of you know the similar moves at different times just you know distractions and negativity it could be just all energetic as well it doesn't have to be in your physical space if it's around your physical space i think you probably know it um already so it would this would not be a surprise um this could be them trying to cause conflict for you um they want to confront you or create confrontation for you because there's a lot of peace and this new beginning so definitely um you know if you are, especially if these, this person is around your space or is found, this could be multiple people, um, a way to disrupt your space, you know, go to the spa, go to the park, go hug a tree, 
you know, go for a walk, get, get it onto nature and stuff like that. Um, you know, do a self care day at home, um, take a bath, whatever it is that you can do, um, to, to counter this. And it feels like that's all they can do is just create, try to create obstacles and fight, um, fight and, and clash and, you know, try to get others involved to create tension and negativity around you being positive and having this new start. Yeah, but you're, you're protected. Um, yeah, you could notice a lot of disruption around your, your home or your work could be connected to this person or it could, or it might not be at all. Um, but you would know, um, if it's them, hopes and fears, ace of pentacles reverse. Um, they might hope to be blo you block, you know, success for you. Um, they also could be feeling like they missed out on something here. Um, they might want you to feel abandoned and like you, you success is just out of reach and, and to keep you stuck in a drama. So a lot of this has to do with like trying to lower your vibration and have you be caught up in some type of drama. Um, even if it's energetic, if there's like someone always trying to draw you in to negativity so that you you almost pull yourself out of the the sunny disposition or the optimism you know with the infinite potential and thinking in terms of what are you going to do next and how are you going to you know manage this or that instead of thinking that way you'd be thinking about this conflict and that's a way of drawing you drawing you in so if they're around your home or your workplace, um, I definitely feel like, um, you know, those are two places where that's why they're doing it. You know, it's to create the conflict to lower your vibration. Um, if you are very empathic and you pick up on, you know, gossip or if they're if you're on social media and that's where they're doing it um they're doing it in, in some type of a way where it's like you can't get away from it that's the goal so that you get reactive and you lower your vibrations so this isn't going to go this is not going to go on forever um you could be fatigued by it you could be happy to be you know closing a chapter and then there's still this energy around you so um Definitely practice self-care and when you can remove yourself from the situation, um, de definitely be non-reactive. Definitely do your meditations, breathe, go to nature, get away from the space where this is happening. Be non-reactive, forgive these people, do everything you can to release the negative energy. You know, don't, don't get into the same, you know, if they're rude or whatever it is, um, just don't engage. Don't engage. Um, these people are in their ego. They're in their ego and they're, they're jealous or they're obsessed or there's, there's extreme toxicity going on here. There could be people here who are, you know, there could be more substances is involved as well. So you might not even be dealing with people that are completely, you know, well, there, there's toxicity, a lot of toxicity. Um, there could be a lot of drinking and a lot of partying and a lot of indulging. Just real, um, yeah, and someone could be sick here as well, um, making choices based on sick, you know, sickness, sick energy um, to try to disrupt you because they see this Ten of Pentacles that you have or that you're heading towards. Um, and the goal is to, you know, distract you or knock you out of alignment. Yeah, it's a king of wands reverse. And the truth is that, you know, also judgment here. I like how this says the path your life takes will depend on you. So... You know, it's almost like musical chairs. It's like you've been walking around the chairs 
partying and attacking people. And now the horn is blowing and it's like, where do you find yourself? Or you've been operating with integrity, being grateful, um, putting the work in, being optimistic, taking, being brave, uh, putting the work in, uh, being, being a loving human being, being the best that you can possibly be. Um, waking up grateful every day for what you do have. Um, I'm not saying you're perfect, but you, you do your best to get to stay, be in this energy and to let it go and to forgive these people. Um, that's why these people are losing control of the situation. You healed, you're moving on. And the universe calls judgment as well. It's the bigger picture. Um, and someone lost control at some point. There's disorder here in their life. Um, and you've got all this divine spark. And there's something about, too, your physicality. Someone could be attracted to you. You could be, you know, you could glow. Um, outcome. Outcome from the collective. Two of Wands reverse. So unrest, indifference, or contempt for consequences, indecision, few options, fear, illness. So that's, you know, three of cups reverse. So that's for this whole group. Yeah. So if there's someone who's presently in some type of like a sorrowful state and is trying to agitate you or they're, you know, on social media doing things or they're you know, um, trying to create an uncomfortable situation around your home or a lot of like, um, side eyeing and bad energy on purpose or gossip and all of that stuff. Whoever's participating in this with this three of cups reverse under the deck, um, is going, their outcome's going to be this two of wands reverse. Unrest, indifference, contempt for consequences, indecision, few options, fear, illness. No plan. Two of Wands reverse is, is no plan. Or just taking actions that don't get move them forward. Unclear about plans. Um, lacking in energy. Or not having options. No plan, no options. That's where this is heading. For this group that all surrounds themselves with this king of wands reverse this person yeah these people operating in excess so that's the other thing too if you see people trying to make it seem like you know trying to give you fomo somehow as well uh but just ignore him just ignore it um Someone could be in a situation where there's no love as well. There could be multiple partners or they put you in a third party situation. And you're busy working. So. Wow. And manifesting. I think for the most part, you're, you're able to focus on this. I think what's important to know from this reading is that there's like this King of Wands reverse who isn't happy with the decisions they've made. This is someone who judged you or wanted you to be judged um, very unfairly. They did something unjust and they're not that this person, um, you know, they're the ones that are in a nightmare. They wanted you to be in negativity. They're in negativity. Um, they could be having trouble sleeping. If they are still trying to do this now, if they're trying to interrupt your your sleep or create a nightmare for you, um, especially with this moon energy, trying to make, make it feel hidden or make you feel afraid or uneasy um, or give you some type of anxiety. What does the collective need to know about whether they're 
we know what the reason is. I don't know when that went out. Um, just want to know how, what, how you should, what the guidance is. If this is near, near you, um, someone who's very unhappy with their life, um, they're trying to change the pattern. They're trying to change the vibration so that it blocks the abundance. That's the goal. They're trying to literally change the vibe. The, you're in the full energy, infinite potential. Um, don't forget that you can ask your guides, your angels about this. You can ask for assistance. So they're, especially if they're in your space, um, you can, you know, look into timeline jumping. Um, Yeah, this is about like trying to keep you in some sort of stuck mentality, feeling like it's never going to end or something like that. Um, it's a lot. It could be a lot of projection, even if it's not happening in your environment. Um, if you feel like it's aimed at you, um, you know, someone trying to stop you from being a generational first. Um, yeah, you you're heading towards your north node. Um, and you, you complete you, um, if someone here is, um, trying to stop you from, I think it also has to do with like, <sighs> this getting lost on purpose energy. It's like disruptive. It's like the movie, um, Clockwork Orange, where the guy has the toothpicks in his eyes. It's like forcing someone to watch a film with the, you know, the, the toothpicks. It's like trying to force someone to see negativity more than they see the light, you know, more than they tune in and tap in and be in the flow. So it's like someone's trying to interrupt your flow who, yeah, that's what this five of wands is. They're trying to create conflict for you. So it could be energetic. It could be in your space. Um, they're trying to stop you from dancing like nobody's watching and knowing which direction to go. Um, they could definitely be very voyeuristic, whoever this is. Um, they don't want you to listen to your guidance. They want you to feel so fatigued or irritated that you don't listen to your guides. Um, you do have instincts about this, though. Um, so you know it's them. You know it's them. You know, you know the energy. Um, and there's something about fun. Um... That's a karmic lesson here. I feel like there is, there's someone who's trying to just make a display out of like having the greatest time. That is not going to be your, your lesson. It's going to be their lesson. Um, um, they're trying to make you feel like you're not enough. Or they did this in the past. Um, and to block a journey or an adventure, the next adventure. So what is the collective? What should the collective do? See the patterns. So um, notice the patterns. Okay. Um, you are a gener generational first, you know, you have support, um, about this getting lost on purpose, because that's what you want. You want to be able to, you want to be able to get lost on purpose. And maybe you are having some type of a celebration. Someone sees that and this is them reacting. Um, this is about you being able to you know tap in tune in and without being judged and attacked um okay so there could be someone here 
dibble dabbling in lower vibrational spiritual practices. Um, they're focused on your innovation. Um, Yeah, it's something about you taking action towards your innovations that lead to your, toward your north node. And it's something about being able to tap in and really think clearly and be relaxed, not irritated. Like, this is having enough sleep. This is having a peaceful environment. Um, this is energetically feeling clear, unencumbered, um, being happy, um, grateful, clear. Um, so I feel like someone's trying to create these, um, distractions. Um, what does the collective need to know about this? It's someone who's projecting, who's very unhappy themselves with their, their decisions. And this is what they're doing. You'd be picking up on it. Um, you're a winner. You're a winner. Gonna have to do with you. Um, sort of getting down downloads in regards to your birthright. This could have to do with you. Um, yeah, d guidance and downloads in regards to your birthright. You're you're done with these karmic lessons. And you've really, you're going through a metamorphosis. Um, and the big, big thing here is about being able to live in the moment, just being in the present tense and enjoying yourself and having a good time. And that's really what you want to do. And I feel like that is what someone's trying to disrupt. Yeah, there could be like a routine here. You could be really working hard you could have done a lot of hard work there's definitely something about you being able to daydream unencumbered without this constant um negative projections or people in your environment trying to shake it up or make it tough um so what should the collective do Fun reverse. Karma reverse. Visualize. Learning. I feel like someone's trying to reverse something here so that you don't light up the place. There's something about your balance and you having a good time. So visualize this in the upright. So I feel like this is taking the time to get into a space where um, you reset something maybe. If that makes sense, there's definitely something about you having the freedom to think clearly and be in a peaceful space. Um, I feel like someone's trying to... It's weird. It's like someone's trying to use this boisterousness or something here, but it's just energy. So I don't know what it is exactly to throw off the karma. It's, it's a manip manipulation. It definitely has to do with your date, your daydreams and you being born to shine. So, um, I think it's about meditation and visualization. You, yeah, you getting close to the truth, getting grounded, the truth of the situation, not the projections or the distractions around you. So finding where you can get to because there's a lot of like um distractions distractions 
uh, negativity. It's a thick energy. So, um, I think that makes sense. And, and prioritizing it instead of like being irritated by it and wishing they would just leave you alone or, you know, and moving forward begrudgingly, um, maybe, um, It's about taking action, but getting grounded and knowing the truth of who you are and which, where you are, you know, with that gratitude and the truth of what the real signal is that you're getting, because I feel like there's a lot of projection. And if you're just very empathic, you could be picking up on it. You could be picking up on someone else's sadness and irritation and projections at you. Um, or it could be worse. There could be someone who's just near you. Creating distractions, boisterousness, um, yeah, wanting you to feel something. There was like someone's trying to turn something around and make it seem the other way. The truth is not that. Um, definitely do your spiritual hygiene um, because someone's trying to block you from getting creative. Do your spiritual hygiene so you can get to a place where you feel like you're living in the moment um, and hear the guidance um, so that you can see things differently. Um, because there are, there are trips into the matrix here based on your manifestations, um, that are coming maybe after Mercury in retrograde, there's going to be more, um, yeah, get to that place where time is fluid. That's what you want to do. Um, and also ask for what you need, um, and then watch for the synchronicities there's some of this has to do with transits as well. Yeah, it's about d divine timing. So um, you have the personal strength to deal with this mirroring. That's what it is. It's some type of mirroring um, of, of your birthright. Um, so this is about using, I think, discernment with your your boundaries energetically and continue to see the, the cup half full. The cup is half full, so be it. All right, <laughs> go. You are free. Um, free to do your business the right way. Um, yeah, you have, it's in your DNA. You know which direction you're going. Um, so find your special place. Um, find your special place. You make the rules here in your, your reality, the life you you know, the truth of the, the direction you're going, your journey, you know, you are the boss of your, your choices, how you respond to things every moment. So, um, yeah, and there could be something that you're learning as well here, but it is not about a karmic lesson. Um, but it is important because it's, it's something here about what this distraction is, is trying to throw you off from your north node while you go through this metamorphosis. Just know that you're, you are never alone. Okay, so whoever these people are with these projections and all of that stuff, it's totally wrong. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely something about doing and seeing and someone getting in their emotions about it. Um, but it's like the most important thing besides, you know, it's good to have fun, but you have the plan, your plan, you have a plan. Um, and that's the main thing here. Um, so if someone's trying to make you feel like you're not on the right path all of a sudden or something like that, it's not, it's not true. It's just someone trying to block you from, from lighting up the place. But you have star energy, um, and you have a lot of courage. Um, so, yeah, don't let, don't be energetically gaslit, I feel like is what it's trying to say. And definitely get grounded and make sure you're hearing the clear signal so that you don't feel this other projection. This feels like active, like someone is actively trying to make it feel distracting and tough and like you're wrong. Uh, 
Yeah. So, um, if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.